People and water are the focus now on BBC Two in the Geography programme. All this water, I don't know what they're doing with it. All I know is that it's taking our fields, our gardens, our grazing land, everything that is important to us. We are suffering so much because of this water. Here's the reason Mamadier Tom has lost her fields. Johannesburg, the city of gold, capital of Hauteng province, the mining and industrial heartland of South Africa. Six million people live in Johannesburg, a city without a river. Those who plan for the city's future know that what water there is isn't enough. We're at the highest, driest point in the land. Uh, it's just to do with why we built this huge city in this uh, industrial conglomerate up here. That, that was where the gold was. That's what brought us here. And now we've got all the people here. We've got to keep bringing the water to the people. The fabulous wealth generated by gold allowed a powerful rich minority to develop a luxurious lifestyle. Their needs and the needs of industry meant that from the early days, engineers were bringing huge quantities of water to Gauteng via the Vaal reservoir system. This system is now inadequate. The Vaal dam was built to supply Gauteng whilst it was developing during the gold rush period. Uh, at the moment, Gauteng consumes 1% of the Vaal dam water on a daily basis. So at the moment, the Vaal dam is sitting at 100%. In a hundred days' time, theoretically, the dam will be empty. With Gauteng developing at the rate that it is, uh, 12 million people this year, the demand for water is significantly going to increase in the future. If we don't have uh, additional water uh, for this area, the mines will close, industry will stop. Um, I won't have grass in my garden, and a lot of people won't have water to drink. In Lesotho, they call the water that pours down the mountains white gold. Warm, moist air blowing in from the Indian Ocean climbs the escarpment to the Lesotho Highlands and brings good rains to Katsi all year round. Katsi has the water that Johannesburg needs. For the Lesotho authorities, the dam means the white gold can be sold. We are a landlocked country, uh, completely surrounded by South Africa wholly dependent on South Africa for almost everything. But um, with water, that's the one thing they didn't have, which we have in abundance. So we, with the water, we are going to be able to sell something to them. They have been selling lots of things to us over the years. Katsi is the first of five dams planned for construction in the Lesotho Highlands 
under an agreement between the South African and Lesotho governments. South Africa has spent nearly 1.6 billion pounds on access roads and tunnels, and on this structure itself, one of the largest construction projects in the world. The dam is 185 meters high by 750 meters across the crest length. It contains uh, 2.3 million cubic meters of concrete. Um, it uh, will be the, or, or now that it's all virtually finished, it is the, the highest uh, arch dam in, in Africa, and it ranks as 12th uh, in the world. What's even more staggering about the project is that it will take a river, the Senku, or Orange, which flows south, and make it travel north through a series of tunnels and rivers to Johannesburg. It's a massive feat of engineering skill, but it leaves some inhabitants of the highlands unimpressed. Really? Well, this dam, it's taking all my fields. They were big, those fields. And the garden where I used to grow spinach is also under that water. Two peach trees I had. We lost all their fruit. The authorities gave me a food parcel. Can anyone seriously think that can compensate me? for what I could get from my lens. This is Mamudie Tom's Valley as it used to be, though this part too is due for flooding, and in a few months' time will be submerged just like this. Mamudie Tom lives directly above her drowned fields and garden. She and her neighbors watch them going under. The children have to start their walk to school at least an hour earlier because the lake has flooded their valley. The dam has changed the geography of their daily lives. That little road before the water was there, my children used to cross the valley with that little road. Now the water's closed it off. Because of this dam, you have to go around very far if you want to get to the other side. young herd boys who long to go to school but have to look after cattle are scared of the water and don't like the changes. <laughs> if we want to take our cattle to that side of the river, we have to go all the way around, all the way around just to get there. So we mostly stay here. Our cows have no grazing land. This is the only pasture here. There's not much grass left here. The good pasture is on the other side. But we can't get at it. I think things used to be better before. Now we are in trouble. But flooded fields are not all there is to the Katsi story. The Lesotho Highlands Development Authority says 7,000 people have found jobs on the project.